Indian Christians from across denominations, including Catholic and Pentecostal, came together in New Delhi to launch a united forum and a toll-free helpline number. The new group will respond to rising attacks after the victory of a Hindu nationalist party in a recent election. The United Christian Forum for Human Rights, or UCEF, was formed on January 19. Dr. John Dayal, a Christian activist and the spokesperson for the new forum, said it will provide legal and advocacy help to the Christian minority, which has been traumatized in recent months. This year thus far, there has been at least one violent incident every week, according to speakoutagainsthate.org, a website that monitors incidents of violence and other religious freedom violations. Christians say persecution has increased since the landslide victory of the Hindu right-wing Bharatiya Janata Party or the BJP in the general election in May 2014. The forum believes that a 24-hour national helpline will help lawyers and experts to assist victims of violence and intimidation. 2014 has been a particular traumatic year. Conceived in sin, a campaign based on hate ends the year in decisions based on hate. In 2014, at least 144 attacks were reported, according to the Evangelical Fellowship of India, which said the actual number is likely to be much higher. Attacks peaked in December. There were at least 31 incidents targeting Christians in December alone. These cases included physical violence, false accusations, disruption of church services, and pressure to convert to Hinduism. India's National Human Rights Commission issued notices to five states, citing media reports on acts of violence and atrocities against Christians, according to the Times of India. These states are Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh in the north-central India, and Kerala, Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu in the south. The attacks on minorities also led to a debate in the parliament. Christians and their churches are being attacked even in the national and state capitals. However, such cases often go unreported in smaller cities and villages, where victims get little help. United Christian Forum has come together so that we are able to ensure that the voice of the person in the villages reaches New Delhi. Since 1997, we have been recording between 150 to between up to 350 cases of violence a year. UCF, United Christian Forum, is about a collective response from our community, We all are a part of that. What UCF stands for, and what all of us we stand for, is that we care, is that we are here, we are together and we are one body. The ruling BJP party is widely seen as the political wing of the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh, an umbrella Hindu nationalist group. It champions the concept of Hindutva, an ideology that envisions a Hindu India, where minorities are allowed to exist but in subordination to the majority community. However, Dayal said that Christians are persecuted in India, irrespective of who is at the helm of the government. It does not matter who the government is, which the government is, who runs that government, which is the government in the center, it doesn't matter. The non-state actors remain the same. The progress of the judicial criminal justice system remains the same. About six years ago, Christians in Orissa state's Kandhamal district suffered mass violence. Christians were attacked after Maoist rebels killed a local Hindu nationalist leader. But right-wing groups blamed the murder on local Christians. Dayal said that the victims are still awaiting justice. 2007 and 2008, 
Christmas Eve 2007 and August 2008. Orissa again saw massive violence, the worst possible pogrom, 120 brutally killed, butchered, burned. 300 churches burned down. 6,000 houses burned. 60,000 people forced to run into the forest to save their life. Children born in the forest. Women giving birth in the forest. People dying of snake bite. People starving. We must remember them. And justice has evaded them. Out of 120 killed brutally, two convictions, one a life term for murder, one only seven years for abduction. As they say, nobody killed the rest of them. Advocate Pramod Singh, president of the Christian Legal Association of India and part of the UCF, said Hindu nationalists are attacking the idea of India that was conceived by India's founding fathers. He cites the preamble to the Constitution. I would just read out to you what the preamble to the Constitution says. I will read it slowly and but please uh, bear with me. We, the people of India, have solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, <coughs> secular, democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice, social, economic, and political, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith, and worship, equality of status and of opportunity, and to promote among them all, fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation. How do we intend to meet this challenge? In prayer, on bended knees, but bended before God. Not bended before man and not bended before non-state actors or the state itself. India is a motherland and we claim our right as children of God and citizens of India with the Bible in one hand and the Constitution of India in the other. I thank you.